day. It's Gary from GNA Honeybees. It's uh, Monday, September 30th, 2019. And uh, the sun's shining, but don't let that fool you. It's only uh, 13 degrees Celsius or about 55 Fahrenheit. And so I was out here yesterday looking at my hive one here. There's quite a flurry of activity in front of the hives this morning. But um, yesterday when I was out here watching, I noticed that uh, the uh, bees were dragging out a few other bees and I noticed that they didn't have any wings. And that is a mite virus. And um, so I pulled the uh, inspection board out and uh, sure enough, it was just covered in mites again, like hundreds of them. I don't know why this particular hive has such a high mite count. So I thought I should treat them again, but I've already wrapped them for winter. As you can see, I've got the tar paper on there. And I didn't want to go through the process of unwrapping them and taking them all apart, especially seeing the temperatures are not that warm. Um, so I did a little side thing here. I took a mite strip and put it underneath on top of the like right here on top of the inspection board but I reached up underneath here and just slid it on top of the plastic so I'm going to pull it out now and just have a look at it you can get that so there's the strip And I'll get this up on the sun so you can see it. Yeah, there's quite a few mites on there. Yeah, I don't understand the reasoning behind why this one hive is um, has a way higher mite count than the other ones. So I'm going to, uh, and there's a wasp. That's another issue I've got right now, is a wasp. I'm going to set that down there for a second, kill that wasp, clean the board again. And, yes girl, come on, get off of here. I think I'm actually going to spread it out this time. And I'm going to try and put this back up underneath here. So easy yesterday. I'm troubled today. slide that. I'm not closing that uh, completely just so they have ventilation. Yeah, see I'm leaving that open so there's still ventilation going up from the bottom. Um, I have closed the, the entrance down quite a bit to try and help them fight off the wasps because the wasps have just been really bad the last few days 
moss or yellow jackets, whatever you prefer to call them. You can see them in my trap here. This is a pretty simple trap. It's an old um, oh uh, mayonnaise jar, and I've drilled. I'll set it down here so I can show you. And I just drilled four like quarter inch holes around about an inch up from the bottom and cut a hole in the cap. I'll just undo that. Cut a hole in the cap and stapled it onto the bottom of this board. And I've got like a one inch hole up through that board. And then I've taken hardware cloth in the center there. I don't know if it shows up too well. But I made a cone out of it and stapled it down to that board. And um, so the wasp went there after I put apple slices in there. That seems to attract them. And um, so the wasp went there after the apple slices and then they go up through the tube in the middle. And then they get stuck in the, uh, stuck in the inside there. Uh, you see there's in the back corner there there's quite a pile of them that's starved to death but I'm trying everything I can to keep the the wasps out because they're attacking the hives they're like they're landing on the landing board and going right into the hives um, I don't know why these bees don't seem to be doing like the hive one and hive two don't seem to be doing too much guarding but if you look at high three over here the little cluster of bees on the front and they're just sort of milling about there and they're on guard duty I'm pretty sure see there's a wasp trying to get in there now and those bees not going to let that wasp in the hive So that wasp will take off and look for easier pickings. But I've got two of these wasp traps out here just to see if I can catch a large number of the wasps. I don't know you can use... There's a bunch in there. There's a wasp on my hand. They're just, they're vicious. They're everywhere. So... Oh, so back to the mites. Anyway, I'm worried about this hive one not making it through winter because of the mites. I checked the, the mite strips on hive two, three, and four, and uh, there might be one or two mites on, on the inspection boards. Nothing like what's in hive one. And this is the first time I've seen the uh, deformed wing virus in these bees. And that's totally due to the the high mite count that we have in here so I don't know I might have to look for some other natural solution that I can put in here and um, see if we can't get them through winter because if the mites continue to to uh, expand in this hive this hive is just not going to make it there'd be no bees left in the spring so that's where I've been at the last couple of days is trying to keep the uh, figure out how to get the mites down in this hive and um, I don't know so and the thing is I've treated them properly twice uh, September uh, uh, late August early September with uh, mite away quick strips that killed a ton of mites like tons of mites that were in here so I've just seen a a video from Anna Kra about how to use thyme oil to control mites so I might uh, have a go at that 
and see how that works. Anything that I can get them through the winter without them uh, being killed off by high mite load. So, other than that, they look, the majority of them look pretty healthy. They're flying good. They're bringing, still bringing in a bit of pollen. But I did notice yesterday that they must be flying quite a distance to collect pollen because they're coming back and they're just barely making it onto the landing board. And then they sit there for a couple of minutes before they crawl up into the hive. So I think they're flying a long ways and they're pretty tired by the time they get back. Now, I don't know, a lot of you might be wondering why I have these little pieces of wood stuck in front of the, and stuck, stuck on front of the, uh, the hives here. I used uh, a good outdoor um, siding paint for, to, to paint the boxes. And for some reason the bees just can't seem to get a grip on it. And a lot of bees are ending up down here on the on the uh, stand, and they couldn't crawl up the front to get into the hive. So I just made those little ramps for them, and they can land down here on the bottom and then just crawl right up. And they seem to have taken to that pretty good. So, and you see, there's one with orange pollen on her legs going in. That's hive too. That's the New Zealand hive. There's more going in with orange pollen. More. There's more. Yes, girls. I know. I've got to. I'm going to land in my hair. <laughs> I like the white haired old man. <laughs> you see, there's more going in with pollen. They are taking advantage of the, the sunshine that we're having the last couple of days. Uh, the weather's supposed to turn sour again. See, there's that wasp that's trying to get into that hive over there again. And those guard bees are just not letting them in. So anyway, just a little update on uh, the situation with this hive one. And um, I'll keep an eye on there's a wasp trying to get in there now too. They're not hard to spot. Quite quite distinctive coloring compared to the honeybees. So yeah, anyway, I'd um, like to thank you all for watching um, and I hope you're all having a good day. Please keep on watching. I'll uh, be posting more. Bye for now.